Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a different type of video, or one that I don't do that very often, and I thought I would do it for you today, and that is a, an empties slash review video. So a lot of the stuff is stuff that I have been used, have used over the past two or three months. A lot of the products are from the Dollar Tree, some not from the Dollar Tree, and some are just products that I just wanted you to be aware of that I absolutely love. Uh, here is a empty shower gel, and this is the April bath and shower I got from the Dollar Tree the vanilla brown sugar scent I'm addicted to this I buy this all the time I love it I love the smell I love the way it lathers it's really good very very comparable to any Bath and Body Works stuff that you could buy at their stores so definitely worth giving a shot the April bath and shower if you guys have not tried those before uh, this is this is very very old but this is the Aussie three minute miracle this is something that I was using before I found the suave version of it at the Dollar Tree but I absolutely do love the Aussie see three minute miracle i really personally do not see a difference between this and the dollar tree swab so i probably won't be buying this again only because of the price comparison i can get it for a dollar versus this but i do like the aussie products another dollar tree product i have is the salon selectives uh, line of products hairspray uh, spray crunch gels this is the all day extra hold. I really liked this. I really, this, it seemed to, um, it seemed to last quite a while. So I bought a couple of these. I have one at the office. I have one here at home. Didn't really have any problems with clogging. I know some people have talked about these clogging, but I personally didn't have any problems with this clogging. I have the, the pumps, however, have clogged on me and just running them underneath hot water has cleared those problems or poking it with a pin in the little teeny hole and clearing it whole has fixed it for me. But definitely would recommend the Salon Selectives not Dollar Tree. Let's talk about a not Dollar Tree product. This is a, this is from Tree Hut. Oh, I can still smell it. This is from Tree Hut and you can see this is empty. I have, I used this to beat the band and this is a Shea Body Butter by Tree Hut. The, uh, it's a Hawaiian cuckoo, cookie. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, K-U, K-U-I is the I guess the flour or whatever. I have no clue. It smells amazing. It goes on amazing. It goes on like butter. It goes, it melts right into your skin. It keeps yourself moisturizing. It is a little bit thicker, guys, because it is a body butter, but I highly, highly recommend this. I got this at Amazon and I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can be able to see the product and the size. This happens to be the seven, U, it's the seven fluid ounce size and it's certified organic. So absolutely amazing, amazing company. They do have other, other, uh, sense and I have not tried those yet but I do recommend this one. Another non-Dollar Tree product that I absolutely like is the Dr. Brommer's Magic Soap. This was a very interesting, intriguing man and I, I'm not even going to go into the whole story of it but basically if you look really closely can you see all the writing on this label? If you actually magnified it, I mean, it talks, this is like, he, he teaches what he calls the moral ABCs to everyone through his soap labels. So I'm just going to read you the first portion of it because I believe I'm not going to read you the whole thing. But he says, absolute cleanliness is godliness, exclamation point. Teach the moral ABC that unites all mankind, free, instantly, and billion strong. We are all one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one and it goes on love is like a willful bird do you want it it flies away yet when you least expect its bliss in turn it turns around and it's here to stay so like literally like this whole bottle is filled with all that kind of stuff so as far as what's in here this is called the 18 and one they call it magic soap because there is 18 there's more than 18 uses for this probably and the one that i got this is hemp soap and it's pure castile and i got the almond i've tried peppermint i love the peppermint the almond i think is by far my favorite but you can use it for just about anything you can use it for shampoo you can use it for body wash you can use it for laundry you can use it for dish detergent you can use it for just about anything you name it there's 18 and one uses go google it look on the website i get mine from amazon i will leave a link in the description box below so that you guys can go check this out but i highly recommend this yeah this is all natural all organic made with made from hemp magic all-in-one soap i'm telling you you guys gotta check this out 
Other non-Dollar Tree product is this uh, Amy's Rice Macaroni. Uh, this is gluten-free macaroni and cheese by Amy's. And I'm a big, big fan of macaroni and cheese. And I loved this mac and cheese. It's a little bit on the expensive side. But when you really are starting to get that craving to just have that type of carby, home-cooked type deliciousness, this is really good. Now, what I did with mine, though, and I do it for a lot of frozen meals like this, is that I do defrost it and I microwave it. But then I put it in a pan and I actually bake it a little bit more so it can get nice and crispy on the on the edge and I might even add a little bit of a breadcrumb on top with, with gluten-free breadcrumbs and a little bit of grass-fed butter, the, the Irish butter, the Kerrygold, and just kind of sprinkle that on top and kind of make it a little bit crispy. So it, it's not, I, I don't do it for like a fast meal, but I do it as an indulgence meal to be able to have that mac and cheese flavor. And it is with rice, and, rice macaroni, which is gluten-free and it's also organic. So bonus and thank you. Amy's for making this product because I am addicted. I'm not sure if I talked about these, but these are, these were pretty much kind of Dollar Tree fails for me. Uh, these were found in the hair department and they are just like too tight on my head. I must have a big melon head. But what I do use these for now, guys, is I actually repurpose them and I use them in my planners for page to save pages inside my planner. So I kind of use them as like a large rubber band. And then sometimes I will twist them like this and I actually use them for a ponytail. So I still use these, but I just don't use them for the headband that they're used for because it, they're just way too tight on me and it just gives me a headache. So the other product that I like from Dollar Tree that is toothpaste, a dental related, dental related item, is the uh, Sensitive Natural White Extreme toothpaste. I think I've mentioned this in a bunch of my videos because I keep on repurchasing it, but this is definitely a must purchase for me. It works amazing. Uh, I used to have a lot of problems with sensitive teeth and I don't now thanks to this product and it is a dollar. I bought one of these, these head things, and I just don't have enough room for all this hair. So I struggle to get all my hair underneath this. So yeah, this is these are kind of fails for me. So if you have a lot of hair, don't get this. If you have short hair, you might be able to do it. Dollar Tree. And then the last product uh, was, in my opinion, I did not like these. I will not repurchase these again. Um, this is the Sure Sense. Everybody was hauling them earlier this year. I actually bought this and I have a refill, which I think I have one more refill, which I probably will stick in here, but I wanted to, I didn't even, you can smell it here. But when you put it down, I couldn't ever smell it in the room. Honestly, I couldn't smell it. So, I mean, it looked nice. It looked kind of cute decorator-wise, but it, it didn't have any type of thrill whatsoever. But I do love the smell. I do love the smell right here. You just can't smell it when it's in the room. So I definitely would not repurchase these again. So that's it, guys. That's my, that's all my empties and my reviews for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below. If you like these kind of videos, give it a big thumbs up so that I know, because then I will make sure I start saving more garbage so that I can do more review videos for you. That's it for me today, guys. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And guess what? I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.